Just a split of a second, that's how much it takes to turn the party of a lifetime into a disaster. This sentence could be a tagline for the 2015 New Taipei Water Park fire, one of the most intriguing disasters that struck the island in recent history. On June 27, 2015, a thousand youngsters gathered at the Formosa Fun Coast Water Park in New Taipei to attend the Color Powder Party. The temperature that day reached 35 degrees Celsius. After such a hot day, the party that included spraying foam and color powder at the crowd was a much needed refreshment. The party heated up quickly and soon everyone was partying joyfully, covered in color powder. Then at 8.30 p.m. out of nowhere, a massive ball of flame erupted and engulfed the crowd in front of the main stage. Around 500 people ended up with burns, many of them with severe injuries. The peculiar thing was that no one knew how and from where the fire occurred. However, once the source of the fire was determined, it was to the amazement of everyone. Welcome to Dark History, where we unravel the most disastrous events in history. If you want to support the channel, consider subscribing and like this video. The event at Formosa Fun Coast Water Park was a thematic party inspired by the ancient Indian festival of colors, Holi. It was organized by the company named Color Play Asia as the freshest thing in Taiwan, and people from all over the island rushed to enjoy the party. Among the majority of Taiwanese, there were a number of visitors from mainland China, Japan, and other countries. The most attractive feature of the party was dousing in vibrant colors. Revelers at the water park were sprayed with colored cornstarch powder from the main stage via gas canisters. The party was a blast. The crowd was dancing, covered with colored powder, and the sprayers kept drenching the people. Then, suddenly, after several clouds of colored powder were sprayed into the crowd in the front of the stage, a massive ball of fire erupted. In the flick of a moment, the fire spread back, catching around 500 people on fire. Party staff tried to extinguish the fire from the stage using CO2 extinguishers, but only made things worse and helped the fire spread even more. The whole incident lasted for only 40 seconds. The fire was quickly extinguished, but the damage has been done. The fire was put down only to reveal hundreds of injured lying on the ground screaming for help. Partygoers that avoided the fire rushed to help the victims. The image was dreadful. Some victims were still on fire, running back and forth as people tried to extinguish them. Others jumped into the nearby pool to ease the pain of their burns. The fire was short but intense, and a lot of partygoers suffered severe injuries. Most of these victims had large portions of their skin completely burned, in some cases even 90% of the skin. It didn't last long before the ambulance cars arrived at the scene. However, the number of injured was so great that many were denied help because there were not enough medical crew and ambulance cars. Those who were not treated by the medics were taken out of the water park on inflatable rubber rings and dinghies, and then transferred to nearby hospitals and private vehicles and taxis. The good thing was that the news about the accident spread fast, so many rushed to help. Even the army joined the rescue effort. Injured were transported to 50 different hospitals in Taipei and four neighboring precincts. The first report of over 500 victims was exaggerated due to the confusion that occurred during the transport of the injured. The precise number of the injured was determined days later and counted 496 people. More than half were severely injured and remained in hospital for further treatment. Of that number, 184 injured ended up in intensive care. They suffered life-threatening burns and required skin transplantation. Unfortunately, 15 victims lost their lives, some of them after spending six months in hospitals fighting to survive. Even though the fire was extinguished, the firefighters arrived at the scene and took control of the site. The mayor of Taipei ordered the water park to be closed and called for a full investigation on how the accident took place. The first report made by the fire department undoubtedly identified the colored cornstarch powder as the source of the fire. The powder, sprayed at high velocity on the crowd, was probably ignited by high temperature produced by stage lights. Once ignited, it started a dust fire that quickly spread to the rear area of the dancing podium. The organizer of the event and the owner of Color Play Asia, Liu Chong Chi, was immediately put into custody and charged with negligence in organizing the event. What neither Liu Chong Chi nor anyone else from the party organization knew 
was that the cornstarch powder is highly flammable. Even though the producer clearly labeled it on the package, party organizers obviously failed to notice the warning. Truth be told, most of the people are unaware of such cornstarch's features. The product is used in almost every household on an everyday basis. Hardly anyone has ever had any problems with it, let alone set the house on fire. However, using the cornstarch as a dispersed powder, especially in large amounts and exposed to heat, as was the case at the Color Play Asia party, is a recipe for disaster. Cornstarch is primarily a carbohydrate comprising amylose and amylopectin polysaccharides, which makes it ignite faster than other substances. One thing cornstarch needs to ignite is oxygen. The more oxygen there is, the higher the chances that cornstarch will ignite. The cornstarch powder packed in boxes has contact with oxygen only on the surface of the pile, insufficient to cause a fire. However, when dispersed in air, oxygen comes in contact with almost every particle of the powder, and in such conditions, a tiny spark is enough to start a dust explosion. That was precisely what happened at the Formosa Water Park. Party staff sprayed several large clouds of cornstarch powder on partygoers. Once the first powder particle ignited, it caused a dust explosion, a chain reaction of combustions creating one giant ball of flame. The Taipei Fire Department labeled the stage lights as the ignition source, but a spark from the spraying machine or even a cigarette could have also caused the explosion. Anyhow, the full responsibility for the accident was put on party organizers. Unfortunately, they failed to carry out both security measures using cornstarch powder and general fire protection measures. The chief event organizer, Liu Chong Chi, was found guilty of the charges and was sentenced to five years in prison. Victims and families of the deceased found the sentence to be insulting. None of the Formosa water park owners were indicted, even though the accident took place on their estate. However, the Taiwanese court authorized the seizure of the company chairman and top executive's assets worth around 16 million US dollars as financial compensation for medical expenses, earnings lost due to injuries, and physical disabilities. It was a small price for young people who died in the accident and those whose lives were ruined because of the injuries they suffered. I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, please like and subscribe. See you next time.